Hey guys, in the latest Windows Insider build, there's a new option in our taskbar now to never combine icons. So what does that mean? Well, if I go and open up an application, let's just say I'll open up the File Explorer, the Windows Explorer. So there's one, I'll go to say my Downloads folder. Let's go and open up another one and I'll do that by holding down Shift and I'll click the same icon again. That's gonna open up a second copy. Let's go to my Videos folder for argument's sake. And let's open up a third one and I'll just leave it here at home. So I've got three different copies of Windows Explorer, and obviously I've just got one icon here, which when I hover over, expands out to show three. But what if I want a separate icon for each? In other words, I don't wanna combine all of these copies of Windows Explorer into the one single icon. Well, we now can do that in this build. So we'll just right click on our start icon, or we'll hit Windows I, and we'll go to settings. On the left, we're gonna choose personalization, we're gonna scroll down and choose taskbar. Right here, we've got taskbar behaviors, so let's expand that. And if we scroll down a little bit, you've got this option here to combine your taskbar buttons and hide labels. Now it's currently set to always, but we can change that to just when the taskbar is full or never. So let's change it to never. And you'll notice now that we've got individual icons in our taskbar for each different copy of whatever application we're talking about. So if you open up two copies of Word, two Word documents, you would have two different documents listed here on the taskbar. So that's how that's gonna look. But the interesting part here is that if we do hover our mouse over any of these three, knowing that they're actually separate applications or separate instances of an application, let's just hover our mouse over. And of course, it shows us still all of the copies in this case of the File Explorer, Windows Explorer. So I'm not sure why they've done that, but at least it allows us now to have different icons to represent each copy of the application that we've got open. So that's a little change that's coming to Windows very soon. So if this is the sort of stuff you'd like to be notified about, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll update you whenever anything changes in the Windows space. So I hope that helped. Have a great day. See you back here next time. Bye-bye.